Hello and welcome, my Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Brandenburg in EU4. So we're going to boost stability back up to zero. I was just checking over East Frisia to see how they're doing. And uh, they have converted a lot of the religion for us to Protestant. They've cored everything except for three. And this one's about to finish. So I imagine they're going to start next on Antwerpen and then Zealand. But um, yeah... Coincidentally, we're able to annex Prush, uh, annex Brandon, blah, 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 Burgundy now in 26 October, so it would have definitely been faster to just have a singular vassal, but again, someone, someone had commented a couple videos back on, like, why did he do that, and my theory, my plan at the time was, okay, I'll give it to East Trizia, they'll core all of it at once, and then once they've cored it in, like, three years, I can annex them in three years instead of having to wait ten. And, you know, because that's... I've already gone through the 10 years time with them a long time ago, but because they're only coring them one at a time, it totally ruined my plan. So, oops. So we do want to get out of this war as quick as we can so that we can annex Burgundy. Um, although, first off, we, we probably should go to war with Spain again before we do that, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should. We have a truce with them. What does our flag look like again? Okay, 16, 15. I guess we could wait another five years. They are allied with Portugal... The Papal State in Venice. We don't have a truce with Venice. I don't think we have a CB against them either. Could always declare another no CB war. Who else are they friends with? The Papal State. Uh, you know what? We might actually be able to fabricate a claim out of the Papal State because of Corsica. But we have a truce with them. Until... November. Okay, perfect. Let's fabricate a claim on the Papal State. We'll use that to get towards Spain. We can feed all the cores back to Burgundy, and then we'll annex Burgundy. That will work out perfect, perfectly. And then we didn't have to pay 1,600 points. Like, uh, I guess we will pay. We, we will end up paying quite a bit. Won't we? What's the cost of integrating you? It says 364 points. That's not nearly what they paid. They paid, like, 1,500 almost. I guess maybe it's because we have the influence idea group. Anyway, I need to focus over here because we need to finish out this war. I guess there's really not a huge rush while we're waiting on the claim on the Papal State, so we can keep this war going for a bit. Still, I think I do want to fight that army again. It is in the right territory. So let's detach and get some armies together over there. I think we'll keep that 8 stack up there. Some rivalry changes always seems to happen every time you load in the game. Okay. Yep, you're doing that. And then I guess you'll come to here. Those are not our rebels. You'll come over here as well. It's kind of annoying that that's occupied by Lithuania, but I guess we don't need that land. They've almost taken this back. Alright, do we want to wait for any more? I think we can take them. 10 on 14. Our 5-3. Into, into the plains. We got 4 maneuver to their 4 maneuver. Um, we might not even have a river crossing here, actually. Nope, no river even to worry about. Yeah, our guys can probably win, right? Can't they? It's close. Way closer than I like. Uh, we'll just maintain our diplomat there. Now, some of these colonies are probably not very expensive, as far as war score goes. This is far, far closer than I like. Alright, well, we got a... Oh, we actually... That actually turned around on us. Wow. Papal State has joined the coalition, as is Austria and Pisa, so they just peaced out and rapidly decided that they wanted to, to join the coalition. We have insufficient support right now. We're actually completely out of manpower, and to fully reinforce your armies, you need 53,000 men. How on earth did that happen? That's, uh, gotta be the Russian winner, if I had to guess. Well, okay then, I suppose we're gonna consolidate regiments a few times. My gosh. This army... Just melt... they, they just melted away. Yeah.
Well, we're not going to pay to reinforce all that, so... And this one's got to be the other one that's... No? Where's this other huge stack that needs to fully reinforce? I guess this one's... Okay. That's a little bit more reasonable, but... Man. Okay, um... Let's go take this one back. Not too worried about the coalition getting too much bigger, but... Insufficient support. That is bad. Everyone wants to join the coalition. This is... You know what? I had such a short truce time with the, the coalition, since I only took a little bit of land from Sweden, that uh, they are rapidly rejoining the coalition. It's getting huge already. Last thing we need is Spain to join. So does that mean that our truce is up with Sweden already? I suppose we could finish eating them. I mean, there's only really one option, which is to just attack them again, but we're kind of out of manpower at the moment. I suppose we have quite a bit of money. We could hire mercenaries, but... Alright, I think we should probably wrap this war up. I don't think that sticking in this much longer is going to help out. We're just losing too much manpower. We'll just take what we can. I mean, we'll have to eat Muscovy piece by piece, I guess. I wanted this much, but it's just going to take too long, too much effort. So, okay. Novgorod cores. Let's feed... Siege is back to them. Anything that they have a core on. Okay, all the way up here. We need to take... Our mission is Kolmgori. We'll sell that one back to them. If we do actually take it. I don't know that we're going to have the war score for it. Okay, so assuming that they would actually say yes, we would not take this land. Um, it's very difficult, really. We're not going to get much. We can take, like, two provinces. Maybe five. Alright, I guess we'll just take those five. That works. I mean, it's it's barely any overextension, and, uh... Oh, they're gonna give some of that land to us. Well, I don't really want land to myself. I'd rather just feed cores back to Novgorod. I guess we won't take those two. Novgorod, Novgorod, Prussia. We sell that one. I guess that's gonna be the best we can really do. And we'll take a little bit of money. I guess that's good. I mean, it's not its not really exactly what I wanted, but... Um, yep. Yeah, let's end the war. And we'll have all of you guys... Come home to, say, Narva. And then as soon as we get the mission satisfied, we'll go talk to Novgorod and we will sell that province to them. As soon as we get our diplomat back. There could be a war against us here in a moment. Like, they could offensively... The Coalition could fire against us. Could not be the best. Okay. Now, they still have plenty of land that we need to feed back to them, so... It's gonna be another war with Muscovy before we can... actually eat them. East Frisia has finished coring this one. They're now working on nothing. They're not coring Zealand or Antwerpen. Well, hopefully they will start soon. So, <laughs> I've got to decide what to do next. Uh, first off, I do want to be at zero stability. Next mission is going to be to crush Lithuania. Hmm. Achieving religious unity is actually quite likely. Something changed and we had a, we had a third missionary for a while. I don't remember what What's different now that's caused us to lose that? Hmm. Oh well. A little tiny bit of revolt risk. Catholic Zealots, Ed Siva. Interesting. 
base is at 10.6. This is that province that had that modifier. Where we, uh, we picked up like 15. It should tick down over time. We'll just park an army up there. And you guys are all going to go to... I guess to here, actually, to Neva. Okay, how are we doing on Force Limit? Got one more Naval Force Limit, like, what, 45, 48, 49 Land Force Limit, no manpower, but we have no overextension, so there's... And this also passed 1600, so there's no risk of the Peasants' War. We declared war on Muscovy, conquered provinces from Muscovy, but didn't actually get too much from them. And the Coalition. Includes Poland and Bohemia, Great Britain. I mean, I'd love to feed stuff to Tyrone, but I don't know that we can really... I guess as long as France isn't in the coalition, that would be... And if we had full manpower. I'd feel a lot better about it if we had full manpower. We're actually still 10,000 in the hole. Rather than hire a whole bunch of mercenaries, I'm going to risk building some more... Army constructions. Things that give us more, more force limit. Sort by next building, and I just want to get the cheapest ones possible. So, armories, training fields. I just have a feeling this will give us the most actual manpower. Manpower cap is 212,000, so we gain 2,000 a month. So we're only like 3 or 4 months in the hole. Plus, you know, 10 years. But, we can recover it. It'll happen. What are, you, are you protecting trade? Why aren't you protecting trade? What the hell? Where's my money? Uh, Lithuania has formed a, a personal union with Poland. Poland will now be ruled by the Kingdom of Lithuania. Wow. That doesn't happen very often. Lithuania has the PU over Poland. Huh. That's funny. Alright, trade income better now. Let's, uh, let's lower maintenance a bit. I do want to reinforce, but I don't want to pay for full, re full morale right now. Pretty good income. I have a feeling the next patch is going to nerf. Um, it's going to do a lot of nerfing of trade income. So if we were to declare, they will call upon the coalition members of Venice, Great Britain, Oldenburg, the Papal State, Austria, Pisa, Savoy. Really, the only one that um, would concern me would be France. I don't think that Great Britain's going to matter because um, they'll have naval supremacy, but they're so they're just so bad at naval invasions. We could declare Portugal as a co-belligerent, and then they would call in Spain, and then we could take land from Spain, assuming assuming we could win the war. Spain still hates France, so if, if France isn't in the war, Spain's army is kind of negligible. Portugal as well, they also are rivaled with, with uh, France's rival Portugal, so there's just no way that they can get in via land. So we'll, we'd be looking at naval invasions from Great Britain, Portugal, and Spain, and then just whatever is over here, which is not a big deal. If we had manpower. So we've got to give it at least a year or two, just to get some manpower. And ideally to get up to force limit. But I'll probably end up hiring some mercenaries to make it happen. In the meantime, we'll just make barracks. Oh hey, never mind. I guess we're going to go to war right now. Venice has honored their military alliance. Has this old... Okay, so obviously all the people in the coalition have honored it. Let's see who declared. Ah, oh, shoot, I just may have done it. I went through too quick. So, Great Britain is the one that declared. They declared the Punitive War. This is a superiority. So, we'll get Ticking War Score based on battles. I believe they changed that. Yep. Relative Strength of the Alliance, they've got a lot more than we do. But again, um, looking at the situation, I think that we still are looking kind of okay. Ooh, the Great Britain Trade Fleet. 26th. Oh, they're coming to us. Uh, in two days. That's not very smart of them. Well, we can't worry about revolt risk up here, then. It's time to unite our armies. Let's head these ones to Danzig. Lithuania's not in the war. Sweden is. That'd be an easy... Easy fight to win. Uh, obviously we have to go back to full maintenance right away. Are you really going to come here? Nice. You're, gonna, you're just going to let me destroy your trade fleet. 
Okay. New decisions are available past the Popery Act. Okay. Sounds great. Claim our rival's province, Trakai. Yeah, I like that. Anything we can do to get some more military power would be nice. And since we are going to be at war right now, I think we will hire some charge infantry. Although, not here. There's just a small chance that they could actually intercept them. We'll hire them up here. They're very quick to train. Oh, they actually retreated from us. Those are the heavies. So we gotta retreat the fleet. Okay, let's grab these charge infantry. Have them merge up with this 15 stack. You're gonna go up here and fight Sweden. Who can't even deal with their own rebels. And, uh... We're actually not at war with Spain, so... That's rather unfortunate. I guess we can find some other way to get to war with Spain soon, but... Aside from them sieging Tyrone, I don't really think we're going to have to worry too much here. Alright, I'm going to take a break. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.